Welcome back everybody. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. In today's video, I'm going over my favorite skin combos with the Leviathan Axe. This is one of the most infamous Fortnite pickaxes, one of the sweatiest pickaxes in the game. I'm sure a lot of you people own it and a lot of you people regret not buying it. Before we get into it, if you guys could, make sure to use my code COBESMIND and drop a sub if you guys are new. I would appreciate it guys. All right. Right, let's go as you may know this pickaxe has a reactive style as you swing your pickaxe and hit an object in Fortnite this pickaxe will start to get this frostbite on it that glows this light blue color so you may think that frozen series skins would look good but at my number 14 spot I said any frozen series skins my favorite is the snow heart I think it looks the best with this pickaxe but to be honest with you guys, I really don't think that this reactive style looks that good with Frozen series skins. I think the light blue color on the pickaxe doesn't really match up with almost any of the Frozen series skins. And the way this reactive edit style works, you're not really going to see it for that long in a game. Because as you farm stuff, yes, you get that reactive style, but soon after it goes away, leaving you with a gray and brown pickaxe that just doesn't really work. At my number 13 spot, I gave it to the Mandalorian. I think this looks best when all of his added styles are on default, so make sure to throw those on. Because as you throw on his secondary edit style, things start to change their color scheme and they're not all brown like I want it to be. This is obviously a great combo, but I feel like most people who are watching this video won't use it. But if you guys like this skin, definitely try it out. At our number 12 spot, I had to give it to the Ghostbuster set. And regardless of which skin you want to use, I think they all look pretty good. The color scheme of the pickaxe doesn't match up perfectly with these skins, but it's close enough to work and these skins are very sweaty. I really like this and I could understand why you wouldn't like it if you think the color scheme doesn't match up well enough, but for me, it does. At my number 11 spot, I had to give it to the bandolette. For me, I would go with the default edit style for sure. I think it just works better. There aren't many very vibrant colors with this skin. The most vibrant here is maybe the bullets or the bandana, which is green. With the green or the rainbow edit style, as most people probably would say, it doesn't look as good because there are too many colors going on. This pickaxe matches up with any skin that has a skin color that's either brown brown or very very tan and I would say it matches up here perfectly and the bandolette was last seen 176 days ago so this skin doesn't come to the shop often but when it does I highly recommend it because as I go through and do this series I feel like it's going to be on this list a lot it works with a lot of great sweaty pickaxes so don't miss out at my number 10 spot I gave it to Jules which is obviously the chapter 2 season 3 battle pass skin so so if you don't own it, well, that's too bad. For me, I think the first edit style, the default edit style looks the best. And I feel like if you look at her in your locker, she's holding that giant wrench, which sort of reminds me of the pickaxe. I think her style just looks like she would be carrying this pickaxe around and actually using it. The color scheme also fits in pretty nicely here. At my number nine spot, I gave it to Redline and Manic. Whatever you want to use, that's totally up to you because these skins are very, very similar. They both have very tan arms, which I think help make this combo work. The red line is a season five battle pass skin. So if you don't own that one, well, the manic was last seen a little over 30 days ago. At my number eight spot, we have the Kuno. This one was last seen about 30 days ago, and this is one of the sweatiest skins inside of Fortnite. I think like Manic, any other combos on this list, this one just sort of matches the theme of this pickaxe and that's really what it boils down to. Because at the end of the day, I feel like this pickaxe or anything that's brown or gray will work with almost anything in this game. But for me, I love this combo and I love the Kuno with a lot of pickaxes, but this 
probably is my favorite. At my number seven spot, I gave it to the Boundless set. And for me, I think the Backlash character looks the best, especially if you keep her mask off. I also think that all white and all black work so well with this pickaxe. Maybe it's because I've seen it one too many times, but hey, I, I'm a believer now. This is one of the most basic combos on this list, but I definitely think it's great. And with the amount of people using it, Maybe they're all just dumb. Maybe they all don't know what they're talking about, but I'm gonna trust them here. At my number six spot, I had to give it to Flatfoot. This one was last seen over 300 days ago, so I don't know if we're ever going to see this skin back in the item shop. I think it may be even a little bit too simple for most people out there, for most sweaty players who want the most simple skins. This is just too far. But if you guys are able to get your hands on this, I think it looks absolutely amazing with the flat foot. Again, the darker skin tone definitely works out here. The skin either has to be brown or it has to be very tan in order for me to like it a lot with this pickaxe, and I think this is no exception. At my number five spot, I gave it to the recon expert and the recon specialist. I think these two are very, very similar in their color schemes and their looks. The recon expert was last seen a little bit over 10 days ago, but but the recon specialist was last seen a little bit over 330 days ago. I don't know why the recon expert hasn't been in the shop for this long, but I think these color schemes, the gray and white color schemes, both work very well with this pickaxe. At my number four spot, I had to give it to the Royal Knight. And I know a lot of people don't own this season two battle pass skin, but if you do, this is one of the best combos on the list because it matches with the theme of this pickaxe, or at least in my opinion. I feel like this pickaxe looks sort of medieval. It's sort of a weapon I feel like someone back in the day would use hundreds and hundreds, thousands of years ago. And I feel like the Royal Knight, or literally anything, the Black Knight, any medieval knight looking skin, will work with this pickaxe. This one definitely matches up with the color scheme the most out of any of the knight skins, and that's why it's here. At my number three spot, finally getting some love one of the most underrated skins in this game especially for the sweats the mayhem this one was last seen a little bit over 20 days ago and i don't know why it's not more popular i love this skin the secondary edit style will not work with this you're gonna have to use the default edit style but again similar to the royal knight i think it matches up with the color scheme but also the theme of this skin for me on the opposite hand of the royal knight i feel like like this one sort of looks like it's a futuristic skin that's stuck in some sort of apocalypse and they have to use tools like the leviathan axe in order to stay alive that's what it really makes me think of at my number two spot, I had to give it to Zadie. And I feel like the jungle edit style for Zadie doesn't get enough love. But again, someone in the jungle would use this type of pickaxe, I believe. This edit style with Zadie is obviously the best with the Leviathan Axe. And I definitely want you guys to use this. This skin is pretty popular, but I would say this edit style is one of the most underrated in the game. Go try it out. Please use it. Let's Let's show some love to the jungle edit style of Zadie. At our number one spot for a skin that most likely you either have or you'll never get, we have the Travis Scott. I don't know if this skin will ever come back out. You know, they did that Travis Scott event way back in the day. I actually was at all five concerts and I streamed them all. I mean, I guess I wasn't really at them like physically, but I was there mentally or I guess virtually, we'll say that. But regardless, I think there is a chance this one will come back out. Even though I said, you know, most likely it's either you have it now or you'll never get it. I actually believe that Travis Scott, maybe with his next album, Fortnite will do another concert with Travis Scott. I think his music is somewhat universal and I think it's great for a concert. So I really hope to see another Travis Scott concert event. But if they did that, then this skin would definitely come back out. And I see that as a very real possibility. But this one is my favorite. It's one of the sweat. Why do you skins?
Sort of oddly, I wonder if Travis Scott knows about how sweaty his skin is in Fortnite. But this is my favorite combo with the Leviathan Axe. It's one of the sweatiest out there. And guys, just go try it out if you own this skin. And if you don't own this skin, well, just hold out a little bit of hope. Because maybe one day, it will come back out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really want to hear what you guys have to say. Do you agree with my opinions here? Do you guys agree with my picks? Or do you think I'm totally totally off base. Do you think the frozen skins look a lot better than I'm giving them credit for? You guys are going to have to let me know in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn on those notifications as well, and use my code COBESMIND in the item shop. I would appreciate it, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a good day, and remember, bye the Leviathan Axe.